In this video, I will show you how to add GIS data to your XMAP project. First, go to the GIS tab and click Layers, Import, New Layer. This will bring you to the Import Layer dialog box. Click on the dotted box to browse through your files. Among the file type options are text files, shape files, and Excel spreadsheets. For this demonstration, I will import data from an Excel spreadsheet. First, double click on the file that you want to load. Now, if you get an error message when doing this, it may be because you have a newer version of Excel and XMAP is having trouble reading your data. To fix this, go back into Excel and save your spreadsheet as an Excel 97 to 2003 worksheet. Next, specify which sheet to use in your Excel workbook. Once you see the layer info box populated with information, you are ready to assign it to a database. You should choose your local database. Mine is called Allison Local DB XMAP. If you don't already have this set up, click on New. You will create this new database in the local DB XMAP server and type in a relevant name into the database name box. When you click Next, you will see a table of your data with your column headers. XMAP needs you to tell it which columns are the coordinates. Use the scroll bar to navigate the table to find your coordinate data. Click the black arrow next to the heading. If you're like me and have UTMs in your data set, assign UTM X as your easting and UTM Y as your northing. Click Next. The final step is to select the correct datum. For us here in Colorado, we will use the UTM coordinate system, the NAD83 datum, and we will set the UTM parameters to band T, zone 13. Click Next, and your data will be imported. 